Hello, in this video we're going to look at the chain rule. Consider the function z. z is a function of y, where y is a function of x. The derivative of z with respect to x equals the following. It's going to be the derivative of z with respect to y multiplied by the derivative of y with respect to x. A change in x causes a change in y, leading to a chain reaction that causes a change in z. That is why this is referred to as the chain rule. Let's do an example. We have function z, which equals 2y squared, where y equals 5 plus 4x. We want to find this derivative. We want to find the derivative of z with respect to x. So doing that, we're going to take the derivative of z with respect to y, and then multiply it by the derivative of y with respect to x. So first, the derivative of z with respect to y. Taking the derivative of 2y squared gives us 4y. That's my result right here. Taking the derivative then of y with respect to x, so taking the derivative of 5 plus 4x, we just get back 4. That's my result in parentheses. So 4y times 4 gives us 16y. And since y is 5 plus 4x, I'm going to make that substitution, and we have the following result. Now if we just multiply this through, 16 times 5 is 80, 16 times 4x is 64x, and that is our result. So the derivative of z with respect to x, we get 80 plus 64x. Our second example. Here we have a revenue function. Revenue equals 10 times q. This would be for a perfectly competitive firm. Notice here that q is going to be a function of L, units of labor. We want to find the derivative of revenue with respect to labor, which is the change in revenue from adding an additional worker. This is also the value of the marginal product of labor. So taking the derivative of the revenue equation with respect to labor, we're first going to take the derivative of the revenue equation with respect to q. We get back 10, so the derivative of 10q is just 10. Now we're going to take the derivative of this uh, q equation here, which is essentially a production function. So we can take the derivative of this equation here with respect to l, and we're going to get back l raised to the minus 1 half power. So this exponent comes down in front, so 1 half times 2 just leaves us 1. And then we subtract 1 from this exponent, so 1 half minus 1 is where this l to the minus 1 half term is coming from. And just moving this l to the minus 1 half into the denominator, we have this result. You'll notice here uh, that the derivative of the revenue equation with respect to q is just a price. So in perfect competition, uh, we just get the price when we do that. And then the derivative of the production function with respect to L is the marginal product of labor. So price times the marginal product of labor is the value of the marginal product of labor. All right, so we backed into that by using the chain rule. Okay, that's it.